Hi, and welcome to the review of the J3600 um, series from Motion Computing. Uh, this actual machine has the Intel i7 V Pro processor, then has a speed of 2.1 gigahertz and up to 3.0 gigahertz with Turbo Boost. And also, this one sports the 16 gigs of RAM and the View Anywhere display. Um, that's called right now essentially Gorilla Glass 2. This particular machine also has the Intel HD graphics card, uh, the 4000 series, um, similar to the Wacom and T Companion. So in essence all of the um, specifications are either at the same specification as the Wacom and T Companion or higher and uh, Overall, this machine refurbished will run about 1350 through the Tablet Shack on eBay um, for this particular configuration. Yeah, obviously, if you lower the specs, it'll get cheaper. You can get it anywhere between 950 up to 1350, uh, as opposed to the Cintiq Companion right now that's at um, 1800 with similar specs. And if you want the 512, you're looking at 2100. So, just to give you value-wise, what you're getting, you're actually getting more bang for your buck on this machine. Um, also form functionality for me uh, preferable again if you look at my reviews from the 3400 and 3500 and now the 3600 essentially the actual casing is all the same you still get the button functionality on the side you get to do all your shortcuts here you still don't have a or well, at least for mine uh, preference I still don't have a touch uh, touch screen and again that's mainly for preference uh, I prefer not to have touch screen just because I don't want to rest my palm and accidentally make a mark not notice that there's a mark there continue doing all my work and then later on realizing I have about you know a hundred plus marks because my pen wasn't being recognized at the same time that I was um, working through my workflow so <clears throat> because of that um, this is one of the reasons why I prefer not to have the touch screen and again do all my shortcuts here. Um, I'm going to just show you really quickly. Um, I just made a really quick face, uh, kind of lightened it up, and then I uh, want to show you some of the, I guess, pressure sensitivity. Um, you can get some really, really fine lines, and I'll zoom in on those, and then you can get some really heavy lines, and then you know just to show gradation I guess you can do like really really light to almost nothing and then really really heavy and pretty much everything in between so pressure sensitivity wise um, again I'm measuring this off of a couple of things my workflow um, basically doesn't uh, ask for tilt or uh, rely on tilt to do some of my work um, some painters do uh, digital painters do rely on the tilt functionality I've also seen some professional digital painters that don't use tilt at all and work just fine without it um, so it's really a matter of preference so if tilt's your essential uh, feature that you need on your tablet then this might not be the machine for you but overall um, spec wise or whatever this one actually outdoes the Cintiq Companion form factor wise uh, I'll talk a little bit about it you do get uh, the same vertical format from the Cintiq Companion and the motion computing the only thing is that you're short about an inch and a half now as far as form factor again I'll address the same the same thing this actually um, is set up to not have a Bluetooth wa Bluetooth wireless keyboard. You could have one if you want to install one, um, but the actual form factor for this one actually calls for this machine here, or this addition to the machine here. It's a keyboard. Essentially, it flips down flat. It has a couple of magnets here. Uh, these magnets actually coincide with the back of the tablet here. see these two here and also again sporting the camera you can look at all the specifications for the motion but uh, you know essentially has some some pretty good comparisons um, and also the actual uh, feature of putting away your pin actually slides right into your tablet whenever you want to use it you basically press the pin it pops out and you're ready to work uh, pressure sensitive eraser one button uh, stylus and uh, pressure sensitive tip um, again you ever need this on the go or consider it an all-in-one machine considering it's a uh, 16 gigs of RAM you basically can take the keyboard it snaps into it like so and you're ready to go um, 
when you actually want to actually place it somewhere and start typing if you need to type it you basically take it apart flip this open and see this will stand to hold them both and now you're ready to go so essentially you can type in here now that you, you you can see that the mouse is moving with the cursor right here with my finger uh, I can still use my pen if I want to use my pen. Uh, do the shortcuts here if you're used to the keyboard shortcuts here. Uh, essentially, this is your all-in-one machine. Um, again, 1350 for something like this with the form functionality, the button features that you want, the keyboard uh, wireless uh, basically makes a connection here. It's not Bluetooth, so you're not wasting battery. Um, also, um, you got two swappable batteries on the back of this one which will give you about a duration for about mm, I'm gonna say at least five hours and not five plus hours just depending on what type of resources your machine is using you know Photoshop or manga or you know whatever else um, essentially good form factor I like the keyboard the keyboard setup is really nice um, really good really good to have on the go and you don't necessarily need to take the keyboard with you you just take the tablet uh, again you don't actually lose your pen because you store it away within the tablet as opposed to the companion where you have to carry something around with you. Um, so on the go, this is essential. Uh, you put it in sleep mode, you basically turn it off. You turn it back on. And you're ready to go. They still have the uh, side button functionality. Um, I get to manipulate this to have the you know, zoom, um, I get to uh, draw, I get to undo, redo, um, and zoom out. And this is all within that little same uh, button. And then also, also I set it up so that I can actually pen throughout my drawing. Um, and then the other one, uh, of course, would be like to tab so that I can bring up my tools, tab out so that I can get gain more real estate and then uh, save for my next one and of course the, the last one is basically adjusting the brush sizes on screen so those are essentially the features that I have set up because for me uh, as far as form functionality and workflow these work really well for what I do for the money the functionality the form factor uh, and of course the specs I would definitely call this the all-in-one machine best Cintiq alternative in comparison to the current Wacom Companion. Until something better comes out, nothing can actually top this particular machine. Um, again, th this is coming from an artist perspective, uh, as well as, you know, form factor, um, levels of pressure sensitivity comparisons, um, you know, the keyboard edition, the actual uh, gigs of RAM specifications, um, you know, just the overall factor. This is what's making this, in my opinion, the all-in-one machine for a Cintiq alternative on the go. You guys have any questions, again, uh, contact me. Uh, I will answer as best as I can. You want to get these machines um, refurbished from the Tablet Shack on eBay as opposed to anybody else. They offer the best service. They offer warranty for their stuff. Um, they're easy to communicate with and they won't uh, leave you unsatisfied with the actual machine. Uh, again, just all from my personal experience. If you have any questions, let me know. And thanks a lot, guys. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching.